In this demo, we'd like to demonstrate how SAP BPC can be used to consolidate a newly acquired company into your financial statements without adding it to your core ERP system. Frequently, there is neither the time or resource to fully add a new acquisition to your accounting system, which generally leads to a final consolidation being done offline. However, with SAP BPC, you can incorporate the acquired company directly into your consolidated financials maintaining your fully integrated financial reporting ability, which includes having all your data in one place, a single version of the truth, slice and dice capabilities, and quick ad hoc reporting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a newly acquired company, Italy, into BPC and consolidate it into our financials. What you're looking at here is the central-based web console, when you log into BPC. Along the top navigation pane, you will notice menus of your main functional areas. The My Activities icon indicates activities that the user needs to address that is specific to the user logged into the system. When you click on that icon, you get a list of business process flows, which is BPC's version of a guided workflow. This helps to streamline your processes since these steps are repeatable. BPC is unique for a given time period and category such as actual or budget. We are going to work with the steps in the legal consolidation process, business flow, to complete our addition of Italy to our financial statements. The steps we're going to be using I've opened up in this convenient little menu which keeps track of open windows basically. And what we're going to do is navigate to the ownership manager editor. This is where you maintain information on consolidation methods, consolidation percentages, and ownership. The first thing to notice is that across the top is the context numbers for BPC. You can choose between category, the time, and the consolidation parameter and have a unique set of values for each of those. We are going to do our consolidation here for the actual category for the time December 2017. And the consolidation parameter all segments. You'll notice that under the all segments you have the three subscopes. These are subconsolidations that will be performed such as by region, Asia, Europe, Latin America, etc. or companies. What we want to do is go to the level three subscope consolidation and add Italy to that. So to do that click on add and then we do a search of the entities for Italy. In this case we can do this by name Click the box and you'll notice Italy has become a selected member. Click OK and you can now see Italy added to the subscope. What you see here is that Italy is part of the subscope 3 as well as all accounts. What we need to do is we need to add in the consolidation percentages and ownership percentages for Italy. So we're going to do that for both of these items. We're going to make it 100% in the all account, all segments group for the consolidation percentage and the ownership percentage. And we're going to do the same for the subconsolidation, subscope 3. We'll also make that 100. You also can choose consolidation methods. So if we click on subscope 3, we'll see Italy as a component of it. For the method, we have a choice of full equity, proportional, etc. These are all configurable. We can see the percentages here that we want and go ahead and click on all segments. We should also see Italy being included. Again, full consolidation at 100% for all segments with 100% ownership. Just to save, we will click on another consolidation parameter and make sure that the data uh, has been saved. Click yes to confirm. We want to save changes. This says our ownership data has been saved and it's changed to a different consolidation parameter. We'll go back to 
our all segments parameter one last time for verification. And we see Italy at the top level, all segments, and we click subscope three, and we will also see Italy. So what we've done is we've successfully chosen a consolidation method, consolidation percentages, ownership percentages for our newly acquired company. Our next step is to actually perform the consolidation. To do that, we will go to our consolidation monitor. The consolidation monitor is where you run your consolidation as well as one place where you can run currency translation. So looking at the consolidation monitor, there are a couple things we can point out here. Across the top, you have content, again, indicating what category, time, and parameter you want to consolidate for. You can change this and consolidate for different periods, parameters, or different categories. The first column is your group or entity. The second column is control status. The controls, as we've mentioned, are where you have your various validation rules, such as has the data been loaded, does the pre-consolidated balance sheet balance, etc. The reason this column already has indicators is that the control status is not reset or refreshed above. Via these menus, it actually maintains its settings from the last time you ran this particular consolidation, but it is updated when you run the consolidation. You'll notice currency translation and consolidation in particular say to be executed. That's because those can be reset by the buttons at the top. So you can continue to rerun your currency translation and consolidation without having to do anything else. So now to actually run the consolidation for the item selected up above. You click your Run Consolidation button. It pulls the context from the top and also a button for PostLogic scripts. If you need to run any additional code as well as the execution mode, which is either an incremental consolidation, which is any new data which has been added to the system since the last consolidation, or a full consolidation. Due to the fact there's not a lot of data here, we'll go ahead and do the full consolidation now since it won't take much time. Clicking OK will bring up a dialog box showing that it's running processes. Viewing the business rules, now it's consolidating transaction data and writing data back. This box will stay open until all the consolidation processes are complete and then it will close. Sometimes this takes just a minute or two. As you can see, it's continuing to write data back and should be done momentarily. Okay, it's now complete. You'll notice that the currency translation and the consolidation column all show done. So this is your indication that since you last reset this, you have reconsolidated your data. The control status column also was updated, but since we've run the data before as is, nothing has changed. Let's talk about the controls. All right. As I mentioned a moment ago, the controls are for the purpose of validating data and processes. You see two of the results are passed and passed with warning, but you can also get the result of failed. The meaning of each of these is that passed means there were no issues. Passed with warning means something with your controls did not pass the test you set up, but because it's considered not important enough to stop the consolidation process, it was allowed to continue. And then failed means that something is wrong with the processing or data that invalidates the consolidation, so there's no point in completing it, so the process aborts. For the controls, you'll notice that at the all segments level it passed with warning, and the Germany under subscope 2 passed with warning, and China and Italy under subscope 3 passed with warning. To view what actually failed or passed with warning, you want to go to your control monitor. And this gives you a breakdown of what failed. So if we expand this here, we can see the detail and if we click on the items that passed with warning, the very bottom of the page will give you a description. It will tell you 
what the control was and what happened. So sales figure should have been entered. This was deemed non-critical in terms of stopping the consolidation. If we look at other entities like China, similar message here at the bottom. The final step will be, let's look at the consolidated financials and see that Italy has been successfully added into the reporting system. So we are going to go over and look at a consolidated financial statement, which will be under analysis reports, income statement by audit ID. So now we've launched the Excel front end to BPC from the business process flow. Here's your income statement by audit ID. Basically, your consolidated financial statement for the entire corporation, showing translated amounts from local currency, intercompany elimination, stage elimination, adjustments, and dividends. This is the entire corporation. We added very little information about Italy, but let's open up Italy uh, just to prove uh, it has successfully been added to the system and the consolidation functionality has been performed. So we're going to choose our entity under Europe for Italy. Now we're updating the report from the total company just to Italy. As you can see, not a lot of data for Italy, but you can see a P&L that was input. You see adjustments, you see translated amounts, as well as eliminations. So this confirms that Italy was added to the system and that the elimination was performed based on the ownership and control parameters that we entered. So hopefully this shows you how SAP BPC can quickly solve a problem of adding a newly acquired company to your financials.